South Africa is the most unequal country in the world. That is significant and it's profound. And it means that our society is dysfunctional and it's not going to sustain itself. It's not going to survive. What was the cost of July 2021? The latest uh, estimates are, are that it cost the economy over 100 billion rand more than double what it costs to extend the social relief of distress grant. I assure you, if you went in the most rural part of South Africa and you offered a grant versus a job, the person would take the job. But now because you haven't done that, you cannot leave them on their own, right? And this idea that we need to teach people to fish and not just hand it over. Okay, fine, I approve. Go teach them to fish. What are we doing here? Why aren't we teaching people to fish? Because we have some of the deepest inequalities from earned income in the world, probably despite our unusually high rate of unemployment, that actually has a bigger impact on household inequality than unemployment does. Even families with breadwinners earning the national minimum wage live in food poverty. At Black Sash, we did a piece of work around child nutrition. People just felt a sense of shame to say that what I do as a mom is that I put a pot of boiling water and it boils, it boils until the kids fall asleep thinking that food is coming. Our earnings inequality within those who have a job is the highest in the world. And our executive pay guys locate themselves in the top decile of the international earnings distribution. There's a, a very short term approach from the corporate sector, which is to extract the maximum amount of profits without a thought about the sustainability. Our high inequality reflects an economy that's not really committed to doing the best that it can, to sharing the rewards of its productivity gains, for example. I think it's important for us to foreground that this crisis that we're facing is not a South Africa unique crisis. The crisis of inequality globally is a crisis that is feminizing poverty, inequality and unemployment across the world. Alternatives are not only possible and feasible, but necessary. The question is, how do we make those alternatives real? And I think South Africa's got enormous potential. Each year in which we don't engage with it, the need to reconstruct that space is greater.